you can just jump over here and you'll lose them. Well, you'll lose them. Oh, sorry. Nope. <laughs> I think I did it wrong. I think I'm supposed to stay on top. I think I forgot. I think I genuinely forgot. Can you get me from there? Oh, you can fit anywhere, bear, can't you? Oh, free? This is going wrong. And hello there, and this is King of Trying It. Always trying it. So we are trying to show you all the secret locations today. So we'll be showing you in this video the best loot locations. There's only two. Like, don't get me wrong. There's multiple where there's decent stuff. Like in my other videos, I do mention where the level two bag is and where the leather belt is. However, there is a place when you are max level where you should only really pretty much be going because you only need stuff for PvP now and to cut stuff up and to kill people. So for that, you need to know these locations. So these locations are first of all of them. Um, you can get this at level one again. Like, like I'm showing you now, you will have to run past the bears. There's no secret hidden path on the back. I do want to give the devs props up of this, making it like a sort of like an aeroplane event thing. It's pretty cool. Like the crash plane inside, that's really, really cool. Like I just love that touch. Anyways, uh, so you just run around as you're seeing what I'm doing. And hopefully you can actually just lose them, if I remember rightly. You can just jump over here and you'll lose them. Well, you'll lose them. Oh, sorry. Nope. <laughs> I think I did it wrong. I think I'm supposed to stay on top. I think I forgot. I think I genuinely forgot. Can you get me from there? Oh, you can fit anywhere, bear, can't you? Oh, free? This is going wrong. Okay, so basically, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. That was such a waste of draw. Oh, poor boots. A poor helmet. My God. All right, anyways. Always take the skin. Always take the skin. You're always going to need it. Raw meat as well. Food and water is a thing too. All right, so if you do it right, <laughs> I think it's up here actually. You just stay up here because they can't get you and that will just take one off you you'll still have two to deal with if you're strong enough and you have a katana or i think it's a spiked mace or something you're strong enough to pretty much just kill them anyways also by not being here which i will be doing another video if you look on the top right now knowing how to fight or know your weapons you know like it's i haven't really decided yet <laughs> but uh yeah, or even combine the two or something. Anyways, this is the loot. This is what you can get. Maybe screenshot. It might make it thumbnail. Again, I haven't decided that yet. <laughs> a professional YouTuber moving in and out like a pro. No, I'm kidding. So, um, yeah, so this is the best loot you really want to be checking out. Uh, you can get three boxes here if you're extremely lucky. But most of the time, it's just two. Uh, damn, I need that gunpowder. Do I though? No, I don't. So as you can see, you can get a machete there and that's how you get it as a low level. But you'll most of the time like, be finding kind of pills and medipacks. The reason why I say this is a place for high levels is because of these things here. Healing 75 is a big deal. And you know, when you're facing people that have, you know, assault rifles, like you see here, <laughs> like it takes a lot of damage really fast. And only way you're living this is if you have at least these many packs and high armor. Do you know what I mean? It gets to that point where that's a fight. Minimum pills, but to be honest, I wouldn't even try the pills because the pills take water from you and you can get yourself killed by dehydration fast. Faster than expected, trust me. So, uh, yeah. These are the best loot you want to be getting. Just wondering if there's anything else I can sacrifice. You know what? Screw it. I will take the raw meat. Not today. I can get it any time. Uh, obviously, these stuff is still worth it, I guess. To be honest, like you're gonna need the rubbish for like the main loot. But what the main thing you want to go for is the scrap. Hundred percent. You're always gonna need scrap forever. Just consider scrap your best friend now, because yeah, you need scrap. So that's the only reason I'd loot the rest of these is just simply for the scrap. Um, if you're really skillful and you have a machete and you're still level one, then you can take on the bears. It just takes about four to five hits to kill them. But obviously, I'll showcase that in another video. All right, let's go to the quarry zone now. 
Welcome to Kairi Zone, or Desert I call it, because I can't pronounce Rock or Query or whatever it's called. Uh, Alright, so actually, funny enough, this is like your best spawn point you can get, because the spawn points literally are just located in several areas at the beginning there. So it's a very dangerous PvP area because of this, because if someone logs in, you can kind of just go and drag them type thing, which is kind of cool in a way, but kind of bad at the same time. But, you know, it is what it is. But, you know, the limit to people in each zone is nine. So, I don't know, unless people come in free, 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 all at the same time and make a crazy combat battle situation, <laughs> it's all right, I guess. Anyways, so we're going to be heading straight to the location. There is no short way to do this. I guess maybe the shortest way to do this is to clip the fastest armor and stuff in the game to give you maximum movement speed. And I guess you'll just cross it a bit quicker. But there's no other spawn point that spawns you over. Unlike the other one where you can kind of spawn next to the cave where the bears are. And it's much quicker. There's nothing you can do really about this. You have to just run this whole journey. <laughs> like this is a... Whoops. I did that wrong. Because I was supposed to slide down onto that. So I didn't fall down. But it only slows me down slightly. So it's no biggie no biggie at all so we're, we're getting pretty close to getting there already if you guys know any qu like quicker routes of getting there obviously comment below you know feel welcome to do that uh, otherwise this is my route oh yeah this route intends to give me some other stuff but i will talk about later actually in another video but uh sometimes it's there sometimes it's not today it wasn't to be honest if it's not there as well it's also a danger of another player being in the zone which could waste this whole journey. Anyways, we're here now. So that's kind of my personal route of getting there. Didn't take us too long. I think it took us about two minutes. It's not bad. Uh, but obviously we're not in the cave yet. So, or cave, tunnel. So it seems to be the best loot seems to always be in a tunnel, which is funny, but I really love this. I just wish it was deeper, longer. It went underground and everything. That'd be much cooler. Now coming in here gives you uh 25 radiation the reason why i say that is i have 23 defense and it only gives me three or two or whatever defense so i actually need 26 and if you have enough you're completely immune to radiation but of course the radiation i'm going to talk about that in a completely different video there's just so much to talk about in this game it's ridiculous so as you can see there's no loot that means there's a player in this zone and they're looting the whole entire zone <laughs> which is the same which is okay i came prepared with pills but if you're in this armor uh to me you can come out here within 30 seconds i mean within the 30 radiation or lower and uh you know you'll be fine you can just be okay normally healing from it but okay second attempt here we go Hopefully it's not empty this time. Now, the thing I didn't mention before was that... Man, this is way too loud, man, honestly. <laughs> um, the thing I didn't mention before is you can see on the mini-map right there that, you know, if it's there or not. If it's not, you can turn back much sooner than I did. But I just wanted to show you this monster. So again, if you use this pistol, you can kill it. But to be honest, you can use the lowest range weapon in the game. Yes, you shoot it more, but... If you're coming in here low level at level 10, then, uh, yeah, you know, you, you'll be fine. So I'm going to reveal the most sexiest chest ever. And this chest isn't in radiation or anything. Um, this chest has multiple secrets. I'm only going to reveal one. So just opening it isn't enough or funny enough. But I'm not going to go through this this video today about it. But it's in this location here, and um, yeah, come and get it. because this thing is stuck behind this so that's that's kind of the issue <laughs> so it can't harm you i wouldn't suggest meleeing this 
Um, I've tested a weapon, a melee weapon, and it doesn't reach. But uh, that's something for another time. But um, yeah, it's just yeah, just shoot it with a bow. You can go there as soon as possible. And trust me, the worst loot you can get in there is just bullets, like I just got. But you can get some amazing loot in there. Trust me, it's it's worth doing multiple runs for. And that's what most high levels tend to. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> go for first. So, ah, oh, did I just break my katana? I did as well. Great. <laughs> Okay, so this is the next location with the main crazy loot. Now, it's debatable and definitely high levels will come to this spot because this is the only place that I know of personally you can get the materials to make the highest level armor that I'm currently making. It is down in this area and it has the same level as radiation as the boss area I've just taken you to. So if I go inside there, it's only going to take free radiation increased on me um so basically what that means is you need 25 radiation in total to handle this place without taking radiation which isn't possible because this is the highest armor in the game so there's no way else to kind of lower it unless you use pills so my suggestion is go down there first find out where the containers are so i can see one over there so i know that these things are going to pretty much detect me so there you can see the radiation is going up by three. So don't worry about the radiation too much. Just chill basically. Shoot these guys out. You can saw them if you want. I ran out of katana so I have to shoot now. Uh, and wait until your radiation hits 30. When your radiation hits 30 or a little bit higher than 30. Then you can go ahead and um, use a pop a radiation pill. Which I'm going to put on now on standby. When you go into the water, I believe it does go up much faster. So there you go. There's the wire things. There you go, 32. So when it hits 32, 35, bam, just pop it. So maybe 35. And uh, you should be fine. Uh, you guys got... Yeah, I want the lever. <laughs> I'm going to kill you guys. I did get my reward. There's also uranium down here as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, so, ah, that was terrible. <laughs> So if you've got the space to mine it, you can do. But my suggestion for mining this is you need to have two available spaces because it also takes stone or it just gives... Basically, it's annoying. All right, so let's just delete this blue cloth for now just so I can showcase it. Uh, and then put this pickaxe there. All right, when mining this, if there's any of those toxic things nearby, they will come for you. But uh, I think there's one on the hill right now, so it won't come now. And there you go uranium i should be getting radiation soon as well there we go radiation's coming up again so you just do it again wait until it gets to about 35 and then you know again just pop it at that moment i am stuck okay there we go all right so there's one more container there we're out of bullets for that gun so we'll have to use the five way which we're missing and we'll lower battery lovely all right one second that should hit. Are you kidding me? But it's long distance. The crossbow gets really tricky. Oh my god. Did I hit you? I can't even tell. Alright, I need to take a pill now. Okay. <laughs> I need to legit take a pill. Uh, What could we do? Should we just showcase the machine gun? Nah, we shouldn't. <laughs> we really shouldn't. Um, Okay, pistol it is. Get close and personal. Unless he's going to leave me alone. Oh, he's going to leave me alone. That's very nice of him. It's very, very nice of him. So it, since it's like that, we're going to run past him now. So we don't really need uranium. We're just showcasing uranium. <laughs> All right, cool. Right, so there's some there sometimes. It's not always there. And then that's it really and truly. Oh, so you would have to kill these two here. But I want to save my pistol for today. So I'm not going to do that. So yeah. So there you go. That's that zone. Uh, you can, you know, get multiple of these cord things. I've gotten seven in one run. I did it in my last live stream yesterday. So if you want to check it out, it's in the description below. The Twitch link. Um, but yeah. That's the only reason you, you want to go down there, to be honest. I don't think it's really worth the pills or anything. It's just worth for the steel cords. And that will make... 
the armor that you see before you now and it's really helpful the armor is ridiculous on it as you can see the total on the bottom left it's 490 head 500 body and the bullet defense isn't great but you know there's been worse it's been worse all right so this is king of china always trying to give you the best information i'll see you in the next one bye, -bye.